Let's take first uh, what would be the repeatable part in this game. Initially, you'd be tempted to say that that or the other one, but actually, it is half of it. It's not a five cane, five slice cane, it's a ten radial uh, cane, practically, if you go very, very technical on it. So, this is what we need to make and then reduce and repeat it to obtain this. Now, I'm going to make several of them, uh, the ver different varieties, and for each of them, we need to make one blend for the main flower and one for the star. So, for the first one, I used purple, white, and fuchsia for the lavender lazy looks. I'm using Wisteria, Fuchsia, and White. For the Glacier Star, I'm using Cobalt, Blue, and White. And uh, for the Blue Dawn, I'm using Cobalt, Blue, White. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Alizarin, Crimson, and Fuchsia. As you can see, uh, it is all the clays on the thicker setting. I'm using the one and a half square cutter. Now I'm going to show you how you can do the Skinner blend and still keep your um, clay on the narrow side because we need fairly narrow uh, pieces here in order to obtain what we need to, to get. Again, these are not perfectly super realistic canes, but they are more of a beginner cane so uh, I wanted to make something that would be easy to make for pretty much anybody so as you can see what I'm doing I am uh, rolling it and then after I'm rolling it I keep narrowing it after which I roll it into a plug and then again I roll uh, with a roller over it to make it flat rinse and repeat and you do that until you get a nice gradient on your Skinner blend and I'm going to do this for uh, all my mixes for all four different varieties of morning glory and then once that is done I am going to get each of these strips in length through the pasta machine on the thinnest manageable setting. I have everything nice and set and with a nice gradient. For the main flower, I'm going to cut my long strip into pieces and then I'm going to stack those pieces but picking them randomly because I want a little bit of a Skinner blend, I cut, I cut, how you wanna pronounce it, I honestly have no idea how it is pronounced. Uh, but this is what we want to obtain. That gradient has to have a little bit of unevenness. And you will have to uh, reduce and stack that some more so you get a more refined uh, lining in that uh, Skinner blend, in that gradient as it gets stacked. 
but this is a fairly plain uh, stacking as you can see all I do is to just put them one on top of the other on top of the other and then reduce because see how that way it looks the way that the color looks on the morning glory flower Now, with the star, it's going to be a, a little bit more complicated, but not by much. Again, I am cutting the strip into equal pieces, but then when I'm going to start stacking them, I am going to place each of the um, uh, slices, each of the segments, a little bit offset from the one that's under it. Not by much, you don't have to go like one millimeter, but like a quarter of a millimeter. Because you want to obtain uh, an offset that at the same time has that stripy eye cat quality. Once you have all your pieces, uh, flip the whole thing and then you might want to get whatever is left because you'll have the very ends of the strip. Get only the darker color of it to place it on the top of your little stack where the, the light end is. And now you'll have to place that, <coughs> excuse me, that stack on one of the ends of your first stack. And you always have to place it with the darker end uh, on the opposite end of, on the darker end of the primary stack. And then on the other side of the stack, you need to place, as you can see, I'm getting remnants from that one and I'm making just a very, very, very thin uh, line that I'm going to put on the other side of the stack. Now, just watch uh, carefully. And I'm going also to use the um, very darker, the darkest end of the stack. I'm going to place it like that. and then the remnants from the star part over there and then on the other side as i said make sure you place the darkest end towards the darkest end of your primary stack you might have to cut a little bit of the light part of your star stack if it's a little bit too large because it must not reach the top the darker end of the primary stack And then all you have to do is to triangularize it. And that is a pinch the lightest end of your stack. Until you obtain a triangle. And then, of course, you need to start reducing a little bit. And now we are going to obtain, we have the 10th slice. We are going to obtain the 5th slice. Simply cut it in two and it's up to you however you want to, to place it. Which of the ends you want to place inside. I prefer to leave the stars on the outside. It's a little bit easier to... Uh, envision the final cane but uh, just in case let's do it one more time and this time I'm going to do it with the purple flying saucer uh, that is a morning glory that's got the blossom very very stripy 
I don't know how to explain it otherwise. And it comes in various colors. Purple, blue, red, fuchsia. Various shades, various hues of all these colors. So, I'm doing exactly the same as I did for the first one. The main flower stripe, I am cutting it in equal pieces. And then I am stacking the pieces one on top of the other. Chosen randomly so that there would be a little bit of a difference where the gradient is located because the gradient always has a very slight variance you know like half a millimeter a quarter of a millimeter if you want to do a grandpa ot for example that is or uh, you'll see how uh, you saw how I did in the uh, Lucky uh, Lux. Uh, then just put much less white and a little bit more fuchsia in between the white and the violet. And then you'll get the grandpa odd. But as you can see, it's exactly like I did the previous one. And then I will be doing the star. Actually, this one needs a little bit more violet at the very top. Because I put, honestly, I put a little bit too much white. So, even with it being a flying saucer, I still put too much white. So, it's okay to complement with the, the pure color at the darker end of the flower. And, of course, you don't even have to go by natural colors. Everybody's going to figure out it's a, a morning glory. You know, once you do the star and you make it a little bit uh, pentagonal, it's going to be just fine. Just uh, make sure you saw that I was off camera for a little bit. Make sure that whatever you add as pure color is very well conditioned because otherwise it will be much colder than the rest of your plug. And when you start uh, reducing your cane, uh, the middle is going to start popping out and the uh, edges will stay behind. So you lose a lot of clay. Now, let's do the star. Once again, I am cutting the strip in equal pieces. After which I will be placing the pieces with a slight offset. Always going towards the darker end. And yeah, you can go towards the lighter end. You'll still get pretty much the same thing. But it, I don't know, my mind, that's how my mind works. I go towards the darker end with the off offset. So yeah, essentially this one had uh, purple and it had alizarin crimson, not fuchsia. I am so sorry. You can use fuchsia if you want. You'll get a similar color, but a little bit... Uh, not that much flying saucer color, but it will still look like a morning glory. It will be just fine. And again, I am covering here a little bit. And I will be uh, trimming off the extra light end.
again I'm placing on one side the star and on the other side a little bit of color because that's how the morning glory looks like it does have a line of color or discoloration between the uh, star points and as you can see indeed I did put a little bit too much white there so I just removed it and I'm reconstructing the triangle after which I will be simply reducing the triangle cutting it in two and create the five slice triangle now to be very honest it will be unless you have one of those uh, working tiles with a lot of grids and a lot of um, angles or you know Donna Kato's tool uh, it will be kind of hard to create a triangle with the proper angle for um, making a five radial cane but I will show you that is absolutely no disaster you can put them together even if the triangles have a more acute uh, angle than they were supposed to So all you have to do is to reduce it now so that you can cut it in five equal pieces. And uh, if you noticed, I did put aside all the little remnants that I had from the stars especially. Because you need to put something in the middle there. And what I'm going for to do for the middle is to simply get a little bit of sunshine yellow. I'm going to make a very, very, very thin string. And then I will make a string with the remnants from the stars. Uh, you can coordinate them with the exact uh, stacks you had the stars from. You cannot. You can just use plain white and sunshine yellow if you want. But I'm going to just put those two strings together and then uh, roll them and create a middle. So, as you can see, I have my, uh, I'm going to use the centimeters because it's going to be too hard, it's going to become way too thin to reduce it to 5 inches, so I'm simply reducing it to 10 centimeters and then I can cut 5 2 centimeter uh, pieces that I can then put together and create my morning glory cane and I'm sorry I hadn't realized that here it wasn't very well focused but you can still see and besides I will do a second one I'll reduce a second one so you can see better exactly what I'm doing and in the uh, second tutorial from this we are going to make a pendant you can make a brooch or whatever but I'll show you how to use these canes to create 3d morning glories not just you know place the cane on something we'll do that too but we'll make a pendant with morning glory flowers and that will show you what's the best way uh, to reduce a pentagonal five-sided cane and as you can see I made my middle and then I'm putting this together all you have to pay attention to is for the sides to uh, finally at the final stage to come in contact with each other and not to have any kind of uh, air trapped in there you'll see that there will be quite a substantial uh, gap between uh, my first and last section but you'll see that it's just fine remember the you can you manipulate the clay not the clay manipulates you and there we go we have our pentagonal cane as I said you need to pay attention and make sure that you have all those well stuck to each other and 
here's the lucky lo lazy lux Let's get another one, the blue dawn, and do the same thing so you can see once again how I'm reducing it until I can cut it in five manageable segments. Then I'm going to Put the segments together, place those strings in the middle, and you'll notice I'm placing the string after I put three together because that's when it forms enough uh, gap for me to put something in the middle. And then I'm adding the last two segments. On this one I had less of a gap but still there's a gap. Uh, just check the top and the bottom of the cane to make sure that they are properly aligned and then you're all set. The blue dawn. Now for the flying saucer the same thing. I am reducing the tenth slice until I can cut it in two and form a fifth slice and then I will reduce that, cut it in five manageable pieces, put them together, put the middle in and that is all. As you can see it's not a difficult cane at all and you can make it in a variety of colors um, I already gave you quite a few I will put in the video description uh, a few more color combinations so that you can make more uh, varieties of morning glories as you might want uh, to do and it will be all considering that your clay is all on the thicker setting and you are using a one inch and a half square cutter. That is the uh, blue glacier and for this one as I said in the beginning you can use uh, a violet to get the Milky Way you can use a pinch of alizarin crimson to get the Sheba and yes there are other varieties of white the only one in which you don't really have to I, I probably will show that in a later tutorial 
would be the heavenly gates that is a pure white uh, morning glory but you can still see a star in there so it's a white star on a white flower and I'll have to show you how to get that done And there you go, the very last morning glory. And now we have four different colors and we will make a pretty piece with them, we'll make a pendant. Happy claim and may all your morning glories be gorgeous. <laughs>